Take this 1926 Ford Model A door and turn it into a brand new looking piece of metal. This has been sitting buried in the desert for who knows how long. It was underground, but anyways, we're going to remove all the rust in the most the easiest way possible. And by the time we're done, it's going to look like brand new metal. You need a good sealed container, a good solid piece of steel, 12 volt source, and muriatic acid, pool cleaner or concrete cleaner. Boop. First thing you want to do is you want to fill up this container with water until it basically goes above the metal. You want to be in a good aerated place. Don't be in a sealed room because while you're doing this, you're going to be creating hydrogen and oxygen gas coming off this. So it can be possibly volatile if contained in a small room. It floats upward. It's not harmful for the environment. And when you're done, the concrete cleaner, like I said, it's the same stuff you use to clean your pools. So, there it is filling up. Now, when you're done with the metal, you're going to want to have a can of clear coat spray paint on hand because once this is removed out of the solution, it's going to look really nice, but you're going to want to wipe it down and coat it real fast because it will want to go back to a rusty state fairly quick. Okay, once you have the water level up above, it's got to at least be an inch above the metal to be on the, you know, you don't want it to be exposed to air. That's, that's not working. So, people always ask me, okay, people are always asking me, how much acid do they use? So, we carefully measure it. Acid is merely a catalyst, okay? What it does is it allows the water to elect, react with the electricity. All right? And it also allows it to be a clean connection. Now keep in mind, this is acid. You want to handle it carefully. Use eye protection and gloves. All right? And then from here, you connect your positive to your electrode, you want to make sure these are not touching in the water. Okay, that's critical because, you know, be no good, no bueno. And the negative to the metal you're working with. And the same to the battery. Negative first, and positive. All right, and it won't be long before you start to see bubbles forming on the metal. And you can start to see the smoke. It looks like smoke coming off the metal and it's not those are just tiny little hydrogen and oxygen bubbles you didn't start that did you okay so literally walked into one of my own biggest mistakes. I sat there and de-rusted something with the paint still on it. <laughs> so, unfortunately, now granted, here's the thing. Compared to what it was before, it's like brand new metal. Especially this side. Look at this. And clean, this clean steel. Anything, I'm sorry, but you can't reverse what's eaten through, whatever not, but if you look at this, 
Here, let's go in the sunlight. Look at this. Quite literally, you're seeing shiny new steel. Where it was really rusty, nasty, dead, dying. And this side unfortunately had lots of paint on it. But you see the steel now. You don't see the rust. So from here, it'll be a matter of straightening out some dents, you know, and doing some uh, filling and whatnot. And you got yourself a four door. This works really good for all parts. It works actually on aluminum and steel. Uh, quite honestly, it brings, it's a better way to restore things than, say, um, sandblast. If you sandblast something, you're taking life away from something. Okay? But if you do this, you're giving it a chance, all right? Now, if you want to go get repop metal, you go for it. You have fun, okay? But this is original equipment. We got to restore what we got. So, for safety equipment, I wear these chemicals can be harsh, and they will hurt you, okay? They'll burn your skin. Me, I'm kind of used to it. I'm on my 17th layer by now. Thanks a lot.